Hello and welcome to this video where we talk about PBNs and how you can find your competitors best PBNs. My name is Mark Muller and I run an SEO agency called Ecom Experts out of Perth, Western Australia. Let's dive in how you can find the dirty backlinks that your competitors are building. The tool is called Linsect and it is made by a guy called Daniel from Germany. So I've connected with Daniel and he's given me a bit of a look behind the scenes into what's going on in Linsect. And I will try to explain to you how you can use it to find your competitors backlinks. So they've got a couple of plans. I think the really interesting plans is probably the expert ones because you can see all of the PBNs. Whereas on the lower plan, you can only see 10 PBNs essentially per request. And then the agency plan is also really cool because what you can do with that is basically say, hey, I want to rank for a specific keyword. And you then provide that to a SERP API, which gets you the search results um, and the competing URLs, so your competitors' domain names. And you then send those to Linsec API and you say, hey, um, what kind of PBNs are pointing to all of my competitors? And Linsect responds with a list of all of your competitors. So that is quite a nice feature that you would be able in an automated way to get all of the um, PBNs or hidden backlinks that tools like Ahrefs can't find. So let me also give you a bit of an introduction um, for the people who are a bit newer to backlink building and PBNs on um, why certain tools can't find um, certain PBN. So PBN is just a private block network. It's a website that you own yourself and you're linking from a website that you own um, to yourself. So PBN, let's say here, I own this. Um, so this is website.com. And then I'm linking from this website uh, to my other website, um, which is I want to rank this. Let's say this is online dash casino.com. This is the website that I really want to rank and I'm linking from this website. Now, oftentimes um, the people who own this PBN, they will actually block tools such as uh, SEMrush, Ahrefs and so on. So SEMrush and Ahrefs cannot access um, this website.com here because they have been blocked. And there's two ways of blocking it. There is the robots.txt file which is more of a nice request, like please don't crawl my website, but this can be ignored if you want to. And then there's the HT access file, which is like a hard block. Um, you cannot get around that essentially. And then other ways how you can block things is through Cloudflare rules, um, which before essentially a bot can hit the website, the Cloudflare rules would say, hey, no, you are Google bot or you are Ahrefs bot, we're not going to allow you on the website. But most of the time when people want to block these bots, they use um, the HT access uh, method here. Rarely do they use Cloudflare for this. And I'm sure some people who are very hardcore um, will use some custom built tools. Um, but that is essentially the idea that when you are checking your competitors backlinks through SEMrush and Ahrefs, you may not find all of their best backlinks. And so that is here the, the problem essentially that uh, you only get a small picture of what backlinks really exist. And this tool Linsect, it can basically uncover these websites, the ones that your competitor wanted to hide from you. Uh, Linsect can find those and tell you about them. So um, really cool tool and a ton of work that has gone into Linsect because what they needed to do is basically crawl the whole internet and to find those PBNs. So, Linsec would start with like high authority websites like Wikipedia, for example. And then from Wikipedia, they would crawl outwards to um, other high authority websites until they all of a sudden hit a domain like this um, PBN. And then they basically try to index that one. And they also check whether this PBN is trying to block Samrush or Ahrefs. They call those the hidden PBNs. And so you get a nice list then. Um, here we've got a list. This is what it looks in the dashboard that you can see, okay, um, these are the PBNs that have been hidden from me where they are blocking the uh, crawlers, such as SEMrush and Ahrefs. And then there are the visible PBNs where the, the owner has not made any efforts to block um, SEO tools like Ahrefs, for example. 
and you can then download that list um, this is happening on the higher plans i think from the expert plan onwards you can download the full list um, on the lower plan you can see like um, 10 pbns basically that your competitor has which is a good starting point um, if you're just looking to uh, yeah basically work in an in industry that is not so competitive i have prepared here a couple of examples from really competitive industries from the betting industry so we're going to jump in here and linsect has found 1500 potential pbn domains not every single one is going to be an exact pbn um, and some of them you can also find via other tools but i've done the analysis here for you because really with a tool like this most of you are going to have a tool like hrefs or semrush so you want to know how many pbns can this tool find for me which other tools can't right so that's really the golden star metric here and i've run that analysis for us um, here this is for online gambling um, online casino in america um, we had a website ranking for that which is um, betus.com and the backlinks that they had on Ahrefs were like 21,000 referring domains and then our tool had found um, let's see I think it was about 200 and then about 160 of those were PBNs that Ahrefs had not found so you've got like 160 websites that the competitor had tried to hide from you, which you cannot find in Ahrefs. So that's a really nice um, rundown. But the thing is that actually these domains can be looked up in Ahrefs. So what that means is the domain itself, Google uh, Ahrefs is aware of, and the links from other websites that point to it, Ahrefs is aware of as well. It's just that the website cannot be accessed by Ahrefs. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so let's say here is wikipedia.org and here is usgovernment.org and these are external websites that are linking to the PBN. Let's say something like forbes.com is linking to the PBN as well. So Ahrefs obviously knows that forbes.com exists and Ahrefs can access forbes.com and see ah, Forbes.com is linking to website.com, cool. But Ahrefs cannot go into website.com to see where this is linking out to, right? And so what you can do is essentially take website.com because you found it through Linsect, otherwise you wouldn't know about it. And you can put that into Ahrefs and then check how strong are those backlinks really. And so I've done that analysis here in Ahrefs and we can now see from all those 160 PBNs that were hidden, we can see that some are really, really powerful. So they have some DR92 um, pointing to their website, um, domain rating 81, 72, and so on. And some of them have a crazy amount of even EDU links. There's like 2000 EDU links pointing to this Hey Link Me. So uh, most of them actually have some form of EDU and government links pointing to them. So you can see it's a pretty sophisticated PBN network. There's no coincidence that all of these have government and EDU backlinks that all point um, then to this online casino website. So um, pretty cool what you're able to see here with Linsect, which you wouldn't even know about it if you just looked at Ahrefs, for example. So this would actually be my recommended workflow here pretty, pretty much um, to uh, use this formula. I can show you here what I'm using. I'm using basically filter, unique, and then we're counting the ones that um, don't appear in column A, that's our Ahrefs column, but only appear in Linsect. And then we get the list of the really hidden PBNs that um, your competitor wants to hide from you. So quite interesting research there. I've also done the same for cannabis keywords in Canada. Here we found for the number one competitor, um, 18 keywords. Sorry, I meant to say 18 domains have been found here. And when we look them up, we can see there's also a DR87 website from Canada um, that has government and EDU backlinks pointing to it. So this is quite a strong PBN um, that they have set up. 
and then a couple of other PBNs here has also got government and EDU websites. But you can see directly that there's a big difference from the casino industry where they had like 160 backlinks with um, DR90 and a lot of them were DR60, 70 PBNs to this industry here, which is basically cannabis to buy cannabis. Um, they're only using relatively weak PBNs in the DR20 to 30 range here. So um, interesting to see behind the curtain of what the SEO teams are doing when it comes to PBNs. And then we can, of course, also look at those PBNs, have an, get an idea of how they were set up. So this is pretty standard PBN where they are having the goal to send most of the backlink power to the homepage of this website. And then that's why they're linking out from the homepage directly to other websites. So you can see here um, another PBN. Um, they're not actually linking directly from the homepage by the looks of it, but they're more like using it as an internal link. Um, it just says continue reading here. And for this one, they also have a bunch of articles. So they set this one up almost like a blog or news website, but they've definitely hidden this one from Ahrefs as well. So um, that gives you the competitive advantage that you know exactly how your competitors are even setting up their PBNs. So you can then set up your own. And some places where you could buy them um, online could be expired domain websites, um, or you can use tools like Scrapebox to find your own expired domains and then create your own PBNs if your industry basically demands that because if your competitors are all using PBNs and you're not using them, it could be difficult to rank in that industry. So for those of you looking for a little bit more inspiration on how to build your PBNs, I've got some examples here on how not to do it. Um, this is a very classical PBN style from, I want to say, five to 10 years ago almost, where you can see that really long text of the article is posted on the homepage. And if we scroll down, we can see more text here, uh, more text here. And so this is quite unnatural for Google because if you go to any news website, um, you don't see any links to other websites going out from the homepage. So it's a pretty obvious signal. If you get many of these backlinks um, coming from a homepage, basically from within a text that's also relevant to your site, um, that you're most likely getting PBN links. So I would avoid these patterns that are unnatural. Try to make your PBNs look more like natural websites where there's an internal page that you're linking out from, even though I understand the idea that from the homepage you can get the most powerful link. But again, if you do that most often and all your PBNs are set up like this, um, it's a very obvious footprint that a search engine can find and then either ignore those links or give you a manual link penalty for it. So. Um, best not to do it this way, but um, set it up so that it looks like a regular news website if you're doing your PBNs. So overall, I hope this gives you a good insight into how PBNs work and what Linzac can do for you to uncover if you might need PBNs in your industry, because again, some of the regular SEO tools might not show you. So um, the tool is fairly simple to use. You just pop in the um, domain name here of your competitor and then you can say whether you want the exact URL or the domain path um, or domain with subdomains as well and it will then spit out all of the domains that your competitors have which could be PBN links and another nice way if you are ordering um, PBNs from um, guest post or marketplaces then you can also put in the PBNs that have been essentially built for you to get an idea of um, what kind of PBN quality the providers are giving you. So I'll draw that down what that looks like. So let's say you want a PBN build to domain.com forward slash test and you're telling some seller on a marketplace to build a PBN to this exact URL. But on the marketplaces, they don't deliver or tell you what the URL is that they've built for you. So you basically need to trust the person on the marketplace. Hey, yeah, I've really built this PBN for you. But what you can do with Linzact is go in and just copy this in here. And you will then see if there's actually any backlinks that are PBNs pointing to this URL. 
and otherwise you basically have no idea if it's a good or poor quality PBN you're just paying money and not knowing what has been done so with Linzact you can check out um, what the quality of PBNs is that you're buying some people do PBN rentals especially there if you're paying for something every year quite important that you find out whether it's a good quality or low quality PBN that you're being sold um, and for that I'll recommend the um, exact URL method so basically what you do you give a URL just to this PBN provider to build a link to it and then you know well on this URL it's just one backlink um, that points to it from this PBN provider. So any PBN that you find under this URL must be from this um, backlink provider and you then have an idea if it's good or bad quality. Um, now Linzac refreshes their data set, I think it's every three months. So if you buy a PBN today, uh, you can't really check in a week's time to find out whether they have built it or not. So it takes about three months to get the result or the answer. But still, if you're in the SEO industry for a long time, uh, three, three months is not really um, a long time to wait because you need to find out who, are, who the good suppliers are in the industry that you can work with. So um, just to make you aware of that, that um, data refresh happens every three months. Cool. So that's about it. I will leave a link for Linzac down below. I highly recommend checking them out. Um, quite affordable to get started and to give you an idea of what the competitors are doing. And um, yeah, I'm always passionate about supporting people who are building their own SEO tools to solve their own issues. And the founder, Daniel, has definitely done exactly that. Um, and a really nice addition, I would say, to tools like SEMrush and Ahrefs. Thank you for watching. This was Mark from Ecom Experts, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.